Hey guys, who loves Posca markers as much as I do? Have you ever had a Posca marker that's empty? I think we all have had Posca markers that have run out or they're not working very well. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I refill them using three different options. And I'm also gonna give you some tips and tricks about Posca markers and what I've discovered with using them in my painting classes. Now, these are all my empties. Imagine if I was just to put them in the bin. That would be over $100 worth of markers in the bin. What I usually do once they're not working anymore is I can refill them. I take the labels off. So I remove the label and that way I know that I've refilled it. Now, not only can you hear that these ones are nearly empty, that one's still working okay, but it's nearly done. This one here is definitely not working. Sometimes to prolong your, the life of your marker, you can turn the tip around. You can see that that's working, but it's still pretty, pretty dry. Okay, that's how you can prolong the life of your Poscas, is turning the tips around, especially on the 3M and 5M. The 7Ms have just come out, and they are an awesome marker because they're a bit thicker again, but they did not, they decided to make them non-reversible. Well, you could probably use that, but it's not as good as the bullet tip. Look at that. So the bullet tip on one end, the non-reversible tip. If yours is empty and you want to get a little bit of extra life, just add a little bit of water. To remove the top, we're going to need a pair of pliers, an area where we can get it messy, and also maybe a cloth for your hands. I grab my pliers and I get it gently around that section and we turn it. You can see I'm turning it clockwise. So turning it, once you start, you can use your fingers. Now, when, as you remove it, you'll notice that we've got the pump mechanism there and inside there is the nib and a little bit of foam. Okay, just put that to the side. It can be a messy business, so it does pay to have a bit of a cloth. Option number one that I've been using for 10 years is the Molito one for all ink. This is in the bigger size, comes in lots of different colors that we can use. And this is what they look like on the smaller size. So you can check out online where you can get them from in the cheapest in your area. I'm just gonna give that a bit of a shake. And I'm gonna want to just gently pour that in. Sometimes you end up with a little bit of a bubble, so it can be a bit annoying. Then once you've got that filled up, turn anti-clockwise to tighten it up. I'm just doing mine finger tight. Now if I pump, 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 and I use that, I have a paint pen that is back to A1 condition. The other option that I use is acrylic, Amsterdam acrylic, ink. The reason I've trialled a new product is because I have the Amsterdam paints. So I use these in my painting classes and now I've tried the Amsterdam acrylic inks with success. The beauty about that is the colours match. So here you can see I've got a, a uh, yellow deep um, uh, colour 270 in paint and now in the acrylic ink that I can refill. Now you either turn the top around, or you twist this anti-clockwise the bottom. Now you can see that that kind of is a bit stuck in there. Inside here is actually a ball bearing with not much ink in there. Fill that up. Just takes a little bit of time. Put that back on. Just clean that up. Some people hold it down like so, or you can pump it get the ink through. You can turn the tip around on the 5M and the 3M. This is a 3M. Now you can see that proof is in the line work. Look at that, consistently working well now. Beauty about this is I haven't had to throw it out. When you get a Posca marker and you pick it up and you feel it, you shake it, you can hear the ball bearing inside. It's quite light. I don't think they feel them right to the top. Because let me show you the difference between 
any brand new Posca marker and one that I have refilled. Let's check out the difference between the two in terms of weight. I'm sure and I want to prove that this one has more ink in it. Moment of truth, here we go. We've got a cheap scale, I've got it on grams here, as you can see. Let's weigh the brand new Posca marker. We're coming in at 20 grams. The refilled one coming in at 26 grams. If I was to change that from grams to mils, I would say that this has six more mils in it than that one. So quite a bit more. They do feel quite a bit more heavier as well. And there's the proof. After weighing these two markers, I decided to do a little bit of research and I found that the Posca 5M has 6.8 mils in it according to the Posca Art website. So if that's got 6.8 mils and this was six grams heavier, this is almost twice the amount when you refill it. So Posca probably only half refill theirs. Hey guys, I've got some stats from Posca Art on how much each of the markers hold the official thing because on the Posca markers I can't see anywhere stating how much how many mils are in each one so check that out um, apparently the 3M only holds 3.4 mils so 180 mils in one of these you, you do the math you're gonna get a lot of refills okay so it is definitely worth it if you use Posca markers a lot Option number three is the Posca Mopar. You can use the Posca Ink, brand new product with the big tip on the end. Great for laying down big colors. If you've seen some of my YouTube emoji shorts, you'll see that I've used the yellow a fair bit. These are great. Let's see how you can remove the, the top and how we can refill a Posca. Now, we've got to get this part here off to do that. I'm just going to use a little butter, butter knife would be a good one. And we're just going to gently pull that out. And you can see that, that that tip has come out. I found a pink that's not working great, so... Looks like it's working okay there, but you can see it's run out. And I'm just going to get that, gently turn it. It's going to be pretty tricky to pour that into there, but we'll give it a go. I don't know whether you can see that, but it pours ever so slightly, just resting that on there. Could pour it into another container. And it didn't take much ink at all to refill that one. Put the lid on, on that, give it a shake. Pump that through. I've got a full pink Posca marker ready to return to my to use list, so it's actually a pretty good option. There you have it, refilling a Posca marker with the Posca Mopar inks. Hey guys, let me know out of these three which one you might like to give a try, or if you've tried something else with success, let me know in the comments below. If you've got any other questions regarding Posca markers, also comment below. And if you've got some value out of today, make sure you give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for future content. All right, until next time, cheers for watching. Thanks. See ya. Bye.